Well, Ohio Farmers Union is working together with a number of other statewide organizations to try to engineer uh, some tax equity into this budget that Governor Kasich is uh, submitting and the legislature is considering at this point. And uh, what we've uh, experienced, what farmers have experienced all over the state of Ohio is an explosion in our CAUV property taxes. And uh, it is getting to be an existential threat for farmers. There are hundreds, if not thousands, of family farmers that are really struggling to maintain ownership of their farms because they uh, are finding it very, very difficult to pay their tax bills at this point. So uh, this is one initiative. We're working together with a number of other uh, farm organizations to try to once again reintroduce tax equity into this current budget. We're working with the legislature, certainly with the governor's office and with the tax commission. And uh, we've got some great information here today and we hope that uh, citizens all across the country will be in, in touch with their state senators and state representatives to make sure that we get this uh, CAUV proposal into the budget and submit it to the governor on a timely basis. Uh, yes, we're trying to explain the basics of the CAUV uh, formula to the farmers in uh, rural counties and also we've got legislation pen pending in the high general assembly that would make some significant changes. Uh, one of the main reasons the CAUV has skyrocketed in the last few years has been the uh, low interest rates. The lower interest rate, the higher the CAUV, and nobody anticipated that the Federal Reserve on the national level would uh, lower the interest rate down to almost zero, and that crept into the CAUV formula, and uh, we're contending that should never have been in there. There's a couple factors in our uh, capitalization rate, which is the interest rate in the formula, that need to be uh, updated. There's a couple things that need to be removed that shouldn't have been in there and that would help increase the capitalization rate and lower the CAUV value. So uh, we've been uh, hopscotching across the state of Ohio. This is a six county regional meeting here today. Uh, we've got Union County, Madison, Champaign, Logan, uh, Franklin, and- uh, Delaware. Delaware. So we've had good attendance at these. We had one in Arcanum, and then last year, uh, we had two or three of them across the state of Ohio. So we pretty much touched uh, all the rural counties in Ohio trying to explain this on behalf of the Ohio Farmers Union and the uh, Tax Department. I've been on the CAUV Advisory Committee to the Tax Department for over 41 years. I helped to write the original regulations uh, for the CAUV. So uh, this is a really good program. We're working with Farm Bureau, uh, NFO, Grange, all the organizations in the state of Ohio. Everybody's together on trying to get reasonable uh, real estate taxes for farmers and woodland owners. One final question, um, where are we at with uh, school districts? I know yeah, there has been a, a shifting recently since 2009, there's been a tremendous shift locally uh, onto the backs of agricultural land, both uh, uh, farmland and woodland. Uh, since that has occurred, the school districts are a little bit fearful that should we have lower CAUV, that they would be caught holding the bag and wouldn't pick up the additional funding from the state of Ohio under the school foundation formula. Uh, the way things work when the school districts get more locally from real property taxes, they get less from the state of Ohio. That's one reason why the state of Ohio has been able to balance their budget. We say they bounce it on the back of uh, farmers and woodland owners. So in order to uh, uh, allay the fears of those rural school districts, we've got a hold harmless uh, feature in the CAUV bill that any rural school district that would have a uh, predominant amount of their uh, real estate value and agricultural ground, they would get the same amount from the state of Ohio as they did before. In other right. words, they'd get no, no less. Ron Sylvester with Ohio Farmers Union here with Paul Meckling. And uh, Paul, you're here today to represent Ohio's uh, woodland owners, and you yourself uh, are a farmer and a, uh, a big woodland owner in Northeast Ohio and actually down in Southeast Ohio too with the Perrin County Farm. Um, how has CAUV being out of whack affected uh, woodland owners in Ohio? Well, Ron, uh, I thank you for the opportunity to say a few words today on behalf of woodland owners in Ohio. Uh, CAUV has had quite an impact on the woodland owners in Ohio. On my tree farms, which are in Perry and Ashtabula counties in Ohio, I have seen a 600 to 800 percent increase in my CAUV land values from 2008 till 2015. So this is having quite, quite an influence 
on woodland owners in Ohio? Um, we have uh, also heard as we've gone around the state and had these meetings and, and gotten farmers behind our efforts to reform uh, the CAUV formula that um, there's actually more woods being cut right now in Ohio um, because of some of these high taxes. Has that been your experience? That's true, Ron. Um, a recent report from Ohio NRCS revealed that there had been over 1,000 applications across the state to clear woodlands on wet soils in the state. Um, we have probably peaked in Ohio in the number of wooded acres. We're seeing more land being developed or cut to put in crops due to, at one time, high commodity prices as well as the burden of high real estate taxes.